hi guys welcome to our channel in the previous lesson we learned to download and use of bootstrap a file and uh, how to use cdn without downloading the bootstrap file in today's lesson we will cover the containers we will see that what are the containers containers are a fundamental building block of bootstrap that contain pad and align your content within a given device or viewport another definition from the w3schools.com containers are used to pad the content inside of them and there are two container classes available the one is dot container class this is the name of our container class which is representing from the dot class is always represented by the dot class and the id is represented by the hash sign the container class provides a responsive fixed width container second one is the container fluid class provides a full width container is spanning the entire width of the viewport now this is the example of container class which is the first one and this is the example of container fluid this is the full width and this is the responsive fixed width in this container there are spaces available from right to left in the x axis format now let's see the example in the previous video we made this example just for checking that either the bootstrap css file is connected or not so we confirmed yesterday that it was connected now i am using this class container now how to check that this is the container and how it's covering our website for that purpose i am giving here the internal css style i will target this container class for targeting the container class we always I start from the dot sign i am saying it that the container class the background color of the container class should be the brown now i will save it and see the result now you will see this is the difference now these are the spaces in our dot container class and now i will target the container fluid class now you will see the difference between container and container fluid now i will save it now it will cover whole my page all the area of website now it is the whole area which it has covered now the color did not come because we just targeted the container class we will change this from container to container fluid now this will cover all the website now you can see the result the difference and result of our container and container fluid class this color or area will be increased whenever we will write more content in our web page now let's see i'm increasing the content by inserting paragraph lorem ipsum which is dummy text now let's see what is the result as we will increase our content this content area will automatically be increased according to our content pictures and other materials so these are two types of containers which i tried to teach you in this lesson we will meet in next lesson so see you bye bye